Well, I just had another. This encounter was just so unbelievable. It was with a young man. He's over there getting his bait. He came out of the, the woods over there and he's fishing. He's fishing. And his name is Mike. And he came out and uh, he was telling me what he was fishing for. And then he told me that uh, he had a lot of pain because he has an abscess tooth. And I told him about clove oil. And um, you're just not going to believe what the, the Lord did. I mean, I've been, I've been praying for powerful encounters since I got here. And Mike was a powerful encounter. So, um, yeah, I, I'm just, I'm praising the Lord. Okay, I'm not by the, uh, the water uh, anymore. Uh, it's the next day and me and Mario are out walking on the trail. And I, I got to share this en encounter <laughs> with this young man. This was, you know, after Angie, um, that was incredible. You know, here she is praying at the graveside and, and, and I show up. You know, I show up. God heard her prayer that moment and sent me to be that vessel. And so here I was, I was, I, I paddled with Mario uh, after that. And we were on the, on the lake for about two hours. And, and I tell you what, this is so funny because this is just me. When, when I asked the Lord to um, use me, he uses me. <laughs> and um, I don't know how many fishermen I talked to, but there was a lot of fishermen uh, that even though I didn't have any tracks with me, and I need to start carrying tracks, even in my uh, kayak, um, I talked to each and every one of them about Jesus out on the water. And it was pretty cool. They're fishing and I'm talking about Jesus. And so I get out the water and here's this young man. And, um, and I, I think I told you about how he had a big abscess and I started talking about clove oil. And, and the amazing thing is we started talking about nature. And we started, and, and, and you know, of course, I, I was talking about how Jesus has a lesson in nature. Uh, there's a lesson in everything, um, in his creation. And, and he said something very profound about multiplication and, and how things kind of come around again. And he attributed that to the Lord. You know, so I knew he was a believer. And that's when the Lord put upon my heart to run back to my car and get him the book. Christ Object Lessons. I tell you what, this book, <laughs> the Lord is using this book. It is a book of, of the parables. And I have been meeting so many people and, and, and this book keeps coming up, right? So I just knew when he, we were talking about nature and he and he's really, you could just tell his eyes were just like about the lessons that Christ used in nature. And um, I, I ran in the car, you know, I, I ran in the car. I'm like, I got a book, I got a book. And I said, can I go get you? Do you like to read? He's, I love to read. And I said, I, and I said, I got a book. I got a book for you. So I ran and got the book and I ran back up to him. <laughs> and I said, here, I said, it's all the parables. Just what we were talking about. And he looked at me and he looked at the book. And they said, you know, I pray every morning. And he said, uh, and I pray every night. He said, I'm, I'm going to read this. He said, I'm going to make this part of my worship. And you could tell he was, he was very sincere and very touched. He said, thank you. And I think he started to realize that me being there wasn't by accident. So, you know, I, I'm just excited. And I took the opportunity. I said, you know, I want to, I want to tell you something. I said, I, I don't, I don't know what's going on in your life, but, 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 but it, it seems like it's obvious that the Lord wanted you, you to have this book. I don't know why there's got to be something in it that you need at this moment. And I said, you know what just happened on this trail? And I told him about Angie and he's like, wow, wow. I mean, he's like, whoa, he's like, that's, and I said, yeah. And I said, so here I am. And the Lord, you know, you're, you're here with the tooth. You got this abscess. So we start talking about clove oil. We'll start talking about nature. And then, and then here's this book. And I really believe that the Lord needs you. There's something in it that you need. And then I looked at him and I said, what's your name? He said, Mike. I said, Mike, I said, I, I want to pray for you. Can I pray for you? And he's like, yeah, yeah. And I said, okay. I said, prayer is really powerful. 
I said, it's really powerful. So I want you to think about if there's anything that you really need prayer for, let me know and I'm going to pray over you. And he really started thinking. You could tell he was taking this very, very seriously. I mean, it, it just, it, uh, the whole conversation just took this turn. And we could tell that it was supernatural. And he, he took a deep breath and he said, and, and he was pondering. And, and he kind of looked up and he looked back at me and he said, you know, he said, I, I need prayer. I've been struggling at work, my home, my home life, my kids. Things are tough. He says, I got this tooth. He says, just, I, I, he says, I just need a breakthrough. He says, things are really, he says, it's been really difficult. He says, I, I, I just don't know about the work anymore and, 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 and living, you know, um, finding a place. And I smile. I said, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got to tell you something. I said, before, <laughs> before we pray, I got to tell you this. I said, I was on a trail like this back in North Carolina not too long ago. And I met a, two brothers, kind of like you. And uh, long story short, I prayed for the one. And you know what he wanted me to pray for? A job and a home. Two, three weeks later, I ran into his friend on the trail again. And he told me, remember that prayer that you prayed for my friend? And I said, oh, yeah. He said that week he found a job and he got a home. And Mike just is like, whoa, whoa. And I said, I'm telling you. So we're going to pray. I grabbed his hands and I, you know, so I, 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 like, I never know what's going to come out, but the prayer was powerful. And when I was done, he stepped back and he had tears in his eyes. I was done. He, he had tears and he grabbed me and gave me the biggest hug. I mean, he just embraced me. He's like, he's, he hugged me and he's like, I felt that prayer. He says, that was, that was genuine. That was real. He says, I, I felt that. It, it was like, you could tell the power of the Holy Spirit was all over us. And he's, he, and with tears in his eyes, he said, no one has prayed over me like that for a long time time a long time and he said I needed that he said oh and then he's like I gotta hug you again <laughs> and he hugged me again like really hard really hard and it was so powerful and to feel the presence of Jesus and, and and he's like thank you thank you and I said brother don't thank me and I pointed to the heavens and I said thank Jesus because he's the one who brought me here today to tell you and show you that he feels your pain. He knows what you're going through. And yes, it's time for a breakthrough. And I remember part of the prayer was him laying and casting aside all the burdens that he's carrying and laying at the foot of Jesus. I, re I do remember that. And I think he needed to hear that because this brother was carrying a heavy, heavy load. And that load, that load, and that load needed to be lifted by the Lord. He, he needed to hear that. That the Lord was saying, come to me. Come to me. I've got the answers. You don't have the strength to carry this anymore. But I've got the strength to carry it. So give it to me. And, 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 and when I prayed that. So he was... And I was, we were like, and I remember he, he's like, he, he, he lifted his hand up. He's like, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. He's like, yes, Jesus. And, um, I just couldn't believe it again. Um, it was amazing. Okay. So, um, I'm glad you all got to listen to that encounter. There are more encounters and there's more things happening uh, as I'm here in Florida and yes I'm here in Florida and they happened very quickly and there was a reason why I'm here and I'm going to share that story um, in one of my next videos but God gets all the glory again and again and again and I'm always so grateful that I can share these with you friends at home because I hope you find them encouraging inspiring and I hope it does glorify God who loves us so much 
that he can use a poor wretched soul like me to reach to reach his children he's a good god